Moving along, uh, we're going to look at Swarf Toolkit. Now, say you only have the curve drill 5 axis option, not the full multi axis. Um, the design tools is going to help you a lot. So, beyond just going and doing trimming, I can do a quick swarf on this path. So, we'll go swarf paths. I'll select the wall. We can move our start. Well, I'll just keep it going all the way around. Oh, too far. Now it's going a good direction. So I'm happy with that. It's already creating all my tilt lines. We'll need an add a tool. I'm going to modify the settings on the tool. Cut a little past the bottom. We can simulate that if we want in here. I'm happy. I can green check, go to my toolpath manager, and it's going to give me that toolpath. Now that I can fully edit this, if I'd like, we can do, you know, maybe you wanted to add an entry exit on there. Now yeah, let's just say, let that regenerate. Oh, not quite enough on there, huh? Well, that might help if I had the right settings. There we go. So lead in, lead out. Quick and easy Swarf toolpath. So what's the benefits of this? Um, super simple, quick fixture design. Easy to manage the vectors on the edge paths. Um, and then it's a pretty quick, simple way to create a Swarf toolpath as well.